Moving out of my comfort zone is the most important thing of being out there. That's when I feel the most alive, that's when I feel at my best and I feel like all the work that I put into it has really has paid off in a way and I just feel good. Lingen is an island surrounded by sea, skiing like from sea to, to the summit and it's no lifts and it's no one checking the snow for you. It just has everything, I think, for everyone. And it's super exotic with the sea surrounding the whole island. And it's like so wild in a way. And we're here for the sun. Yeah, we're here for the sun. We just need to be at the right place at the right time <laughs> yeah. in order to get some light. Yeah. Right now we could be anywhere. But we're in Lingen, I promise. Oh. Okay, we're going up there, huh? Somewhere. Yeah. At least we're getting freshies. True. So it's gonna be a true adventure, I think. So I grew up in a small valley surrounded by some of the highest peaks in Norway. My father uh, worked as a mountain guide when I was younger. He was really interested in uh, like the philosophy of Rousseau, thinking about a human as a, an explorer. This is the window we're looking for. No time to waste. I guess everything around my life has been surrounded by snowboarding. One day, my father came home with a snowboard. Just from that day on, I knew I wanted to go sideways. Thea is my fiance and she is my best friend here in life. When we go out, we do serious stuff together. It's just not about being together or like a boyfriend and a girlfriend. We're really there for each other. Oh, oh, oh lordy dody. This is your drop in. Oh, look at the sun, Thea. Oh, yeah, finally. I never thought we would have this sun when we started today. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> I look so good. <laughs> oh. And now you can even see the, the bottom. Yeah, first time. Yeah. What I like about it is that uh, I can ride it quite controlled. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm not that good at stuff management, so... You don't have to race it. No, that's, that's what you do. That's my job. Are you nervous? No, I'm good. Are you nervous? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. See you down there. Yeah. Stay safe. You too. Okay, love you. Love you. So Christer wants to go fast. It's just something about the speed. Oh! <laughs> oh my lord! The wind blowing in your face, in your jacket. Your jacket is making sounds because it's going so fast. It's just not about just riding. It's more about holding on. Fire, three, two. And Snokkis. So good. Okay, let's um, ride out. 
you like get the, the weather window you've predicted in the forecast. You're at the right time, at the right place, sharing the moment with Krister. Those are the moments that I kind of seek. We had one plan. We wanted to check out this north face of uh, Stori Agrostin. But we had a really, really uncertain forecast that day. So we really didn't know like what we could expect. Okay, so Stori Agrostin. It's been like something that I've heard about since I was really young. Um, and I've been looking at the mountain ever since I moved up here. And like, I'm really curious about going in there and how's the snow on the approach and onto the glacier, you know. I think like as, as long as we can see something, yeah. then that's not, not a problem. No. I think the problem occurs when, when we, if we lose our sight. I'm getting uh, scared looking behind us because there is like those clouds are heavy. They are carrying stuff. They carry snow. Feels too bad giving up right now. And we had this moment where we we're just like, but what are we really doing? Like, what's the point of like trying to reach a summit like this in this kind of weather? Uh, we're already here. Let's uh, walk for an hour, see what happens with the weather. If, if the fog comes in, we need to be able to turn around. We can't go on to the summit and not find our way back. I guess we just felt yesterday down there. Just like, oh, I'm kind of tired. I'm really glad we didn't pull the plug down there. Holy. Okay, so trying to follow in Christer's big step. Oh, here comes the storm. It's really good snow to boot back in. Like perfect. Looks like something is <laughs> rolling in right now. Just, uh, the question is how long it's going to stay. Should we, like, should we continue? Yeah. In this shit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's perfect timing to when we get to the top. Looks like we're racing the fog right now. Like how sick is this? The clouds are letting go and we're starting to see some mountains around us. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Ah. Cool, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm just happy being here. Yeah. This is the north side. We are coming for you! Oh, the north face looks cold. This is spicy. And so we're at the top of Stori Agrivastin. The fog is just coming in and it just gets white. We don't see anything. There's no visibility on the north side. Nothing. No, like nothing. You can't really see shit. So, and it's snowing. So maybe we should try to head back before the tracks snow down. Yeah, I think it's nice as long as we can just follow our tracks back. Yeah, and let's yeah. find a place to dig ourselves down and, and hope for better weather tomorrow. Yeah, because this is not working. <laughs> this is not happening today. No. I'm sorry. There is no point of going down the north side over this huge cliff. So there is a no fall zone and it's really steep. So doing it in the fog was just not an option at all. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> it's so nice. I wonder how the north side would be in like evening light. Imagine though. We tried. Yeah. We did not succeed. It's not what it promised, Tell. Uh, it's still snowing. So I guess that's a part of the game. Like, if you have this one line all figured out and you know where to go and you know it might be good snow, there's always a possibility that you can't ride it. Sometimes the mountains kind of invites us in, but sometimes they say no. <laughs> 